everyone, I'm Nathan and today in this PSLE 2020 Paper 2 question series, I'll be going through question 5. In my channel, I aim to help all of you master all those concepts out there. Okay, so let's jump straight into question 5. Okay, this is question 5 and this question is testing us on fractions. Okay, so let's read the question first. The square, a square is first divided into two equal halves. So this is one half and this is the another half, okay? The top half is divided into five equal parts while the bottom half is divided into four equal parts. So this is the top half and this is the bottom half. The total area of the shaded parts is 165 cm square. What is the area of the square? Okay, let's highlight the key information, okay? So the first divided into two equal halves, okay? Top half is divided into five equal parts and bottom half is divided into four equal parts. Total area of shaded parts is 165 cm square. What is the area of the square? Okay, we know that these two are divided into two equal parts, right? And we know that over here, the first one, 3 fifth is shaded and the second bottom half, 2 quarter is shaded, right? So we know that these two areas are equal, right? The top half and the bottom half is equal, right? So basically, I'm going to make the denominators the same. So 3 fifth is equal to 12 over 20 and 2 quarter is equal to 10 over 20, okay? And we know that the total area of the shaded part is 165 cm square. So I'm going to take the numerator of both of these. So 12 plus 10 units, which will give us 20, 165 cm square. So 22 units is basically 165. So I can find one unit, which is 165 divided by 22. Okay. Which will give us 7.5. And we know that in order to find the total area of the square, we need to take the denominators and add them up together. So 20 units plus 20 units is 40 units. So, in order to find the area of the square, we just need to find 40 units. So, 40 units is equal to 7.5 times 40 because 7.5 is 1 unit. So, in order to find 40 units, we take 7.5 times 40, which will give us 300 cm square as the answer. Okay? So, I hope you understood my explanation for this question, question 5. And thank you and bye-bye. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!